Welcome back to this European Finals match. <gasps> Ark here versus Gordo. And we see Ark here is actually spawning <laughs> in Pipeline. So Luck is running out for them as it seems. And <laughs> stop shedding the referee there. <laughs> oh, uh, blind, you cursed him. Oh, yeah, I cursed everyone. It didn't say it this time, though. So <laughs> I didn't curse anyone. So let's see how this will work out. Um, I mean, two Marines in Tobo. Oh, Ark here getting really early. Aggressive there, catching an early kill. Yeah, and they went straight in there. You see them assisting to C12, and on the other side of the map in West Junction, Skugan and Eagle Eye um, sitting there, Grissy and and Duty up in those hallways. So we see standard move here, Ark here, um, defending up here C12, cracking C12, dropping Hydra there, even clocks. So Koru is doing that, not Grime, he keeps sitting in the chair, and I'm wondering if they wanted to go for um, squeezing Kago as well, but it did up to not to. So it's just sitting on two harvesters only. So it means Godor can just um, play a little bit more passive and go cap a little bit more. They don't need to commit too much on C12. Seeing a little bit of skirmishing happening. Ice felt and Valk in East Junction. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Grissy taking down Eagle Eyes. Jump at him. Skugan still in the vents, and Grissy is going to move down. Um, the ramp here in Skugan is making a lot of noise in those vents, making Grissy a really uneven. And we see Ark have completely toppled all the defense on the right side of the map, moving into topographical, biting down that RT. And we see Valk and Icefelt in Nanogrid setting that up. Oh. I, I think Goda was just pretty lucky this moment. Uh, three Skulks in Topo, they decided to not go for the base because they didn't know how many Moraines were close there, but there was no Moraine, there was just one West Skylight, just one IP, no mines, which is risk at all. Now we see a big push inside Nanogrid, oh cleaning that out. <laughs> that was, wow. That was pretty nice, but yeah, I want to stress it out. Uh, Goda took this risk by not going mines first, they got straight into upgrades. They taking that. They, they can be base rush, but Akira is not that kind of team who goes to base rushes. Power down in Nanogrid. Um, Blueprint still up. Mendas on the outside in East Junction. Um, <laughs> seen into the darkness. Uh, we got Fana and Tane at the doorway trying to stab him off. Over in Subsector, we got Duty coming in. Kuryu jumps from the top, takes him out. Wow, okay, I'm winning all engagements here right now. I accept for this one. So it's actually a pretty nice situation for Ark here. They just killed four Marines. They um, secured Sep, they're hitting Overlook, which is okay. They also got Cargo up, but now two Marines, Icefeld and Vogue, are on the way if they don't split up. They should stick together and just go Cargo, because right now Cargo is easier to hold, pretty tough to break. It will take at least four aliens to break those two Marines, unless um, Fana might get a good kill here by this ambush. Or Tane. But they're positioning themselves in the back. Not gonna get easy. Yeah, Valk and Icefeld. Here comes Ark's push against this marine uh, offensive down in Cargo. And uh, definitely no chance there. Grissy just building that RT in subs in, uh, I'm sorry, Overlook, moving into subsector. Don't s I, I see weapons one coming. I don't see a fast way that they can get around this map if they keep getting sent back to base blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to watch out not to lose the map control by losing all this kind of engagement. Um, they had some good positioning there, that engagement in Kago went pretty good for Arkea. They had they waited for a good timing when they were starting shooting the RT. I think they catch them also a little bit by surprise. They never expected three Skulks in there, maybe just two max. So, caught them by surprise. Still, Gunnar is in a fairly good spot. Um, Arkea hitting up three RTs right now, and but no face gate, just straight upgrades. And the face gate system I would really like on this spawn -like situation. Cargo Hive being claimed right now, 3% drone. Ice Felt and Duty taking down some uh, life forms over in Overlook, 32% on their RT, and we got uh, Ice Felt moving into subsector. See if that's clear. Skugan doing some RT harassment in topographical, 73% on that as Grissy comes around the corner, tries to slap him off. Weapons 1 has been completed by the Marines, and we do have Fana out on the field as Lurk. 
can definitely turn around the game. We know how good he is as a lurk. I'm um, just looking at the base now. There's an ops on the way now. We actually see now the second IP just being built. Um, so they can be more mobile on the base, so losses won't cut them too much, as they did before actually. Losing 4 Marines, you know how long it takes to get those 4 Marines back in the field with just one IP. That's a pretty big loss, and that's why I see Gota did fall back behind, but now they're up to 4 or 5 Extractors pretty soon. 3 Marines close to Dano. Let's see if the aliens not miscalculate the situation. Wow, I mean, almost all of them responding to this, they really don't want them to establish here in Nano, and I wouldn't either. They completely clean them out, only losing one life form in there. Grissy coming around the corner a little bit too late to the party. Yeah, that was really important for Kia. Clear out this three-man pressure. It's so good right now. We have one Lonely Marine hitting C12. Not sure how much he can do, just one skull could be enough to take him out, especially with those Hydras and everything else. Uh, those Marines are starting to scatter around the map here. We see Mandas alone in the neck versus two Skulks, one alone in C12, one alone in Sub who died. And yeah, let, let's hope they will not do this kind of same mistakes again. Shotguns have been started about halfway done. They're sitting on weapons one and armor one. So if they can get those out six minutes into this game, that may help them a little bit. Fana almost going down in C12, but just getting out of there with like 3% life. Oh, that was a close one. We see now shotguns are up, and that can help go there big time, and they need it. Because they have to walk a long way every time they die from base, and they're not grouping up. We see again, Mana's pretty much alone. Gets picked by a single skull. God, that is really bad to happen. Two Marines and Nano, and just two. It's not enough if the whole Indian team just goes in decisively, as they're setting an ambush yeah. right now. Yeah, and Ice Felt and Bach are going to need to really use that armory, and it's just not going to work. They got shotguns in there, but that's just way too much teeth flying at your face. Oh, it's pretty nice shooting by Ice Felt, but just imagine one more Marine in there in the mix. It could have gone so much different, especially with their shotgun 1-1 one, one now up. Oh, look, all those shotguns dropping there in Nano, and those structures being lost. What a setback for Godar. Definitely. We see the aliens even... Grapping Nanogrid. I'm trying to get now five harvesters up to Coach Towns a little bit later in the game. The one that leap fast. You see, leap is completed. On Valus is a good option because you never know if you can stay above two or three harvesters for a long time. So you will definitely see much more skull play in Vale um, than we play like in other maps. And that's why I like the um, fast leap for this map, and still, it's up to Godard to do something here. Another man that's alone again by Chang he's a good job with the shotgun, look at that, but still, it's too much if he's alone. Here they are with the power up and system waypointing, or power plug, they're not going to build that, they're going to keep going into Nano, and Arkea has established Nano Grid with Harvesters. Oh, that was a risky move by Skugan here. It looks like we have one player crash, which we will take care of that. And that's a pretty bad time for a care as well, because yeah. Goda wants to take Nano Grid so bad they cannot allow five harvesters to grow. Just five aliens available. Scrime getting trapped in there. He's trying his best. The cracks are up, but it's not too many aliens. They have to go soon. Really soon. Oh. Scram is down, and with Skugan crashed, Godar's on a power play right now, but it looks like they're gonna all in and, and just get everyone out of this Nano Grid push, and they do that successfully with only losing a Gorge. I need to... looks like the referee is not there right there, so I have to do that. Where's Skogan? I'm really sorry, but I have to do that. Did you do it yet? Okay. Yeah, I kicked it. No, it's gone. Okay. Alright, and... We got in pipeline a little bit of, uh... Alright. A little bit of... Marine action there gets taken out over in subsector. We're seeing Tane and Kariu taking down the uh, the RT there. Uh, face tech is now on the way as well as armor two. They all opt going armor two before weapon two. Uh, it kind of seems a common strategy right now for the for those teams. And but the face gate at the ten minute mark again. I feel especially for Vale. I mean on summit it's completely fine. But if they just imagine they would have had that phase gate like in system waypointing early on in the game. Even without mm -hmm. ammo one weapon one, it's it, they, they could have prevented losing sub nano all the time. 
and just prevent it also being scattered all around the map just by reinforcing one by one and going back in the field one by one. Now they have to really change pace and they're waiting for the space gating system now. They're getting this up right now, they're waiting for the T-Rest to in, the research is finished and then try to crawl back into this game. Fana taking out Mendasp over in C12 alone again. He seems to be alone a lot. Maybe, um, you know, maybe they don't like him. Maybe he didn't take a shower, but he <laughs> is always alone on this map. Uh, four Marines waiting for the face kit. Here we go. In the same time, they're losing top of West Skylights. And actually, I'm looking mm -hmm. here. They are killed seven extractors. Are here doing again a good job. Um, especially considering whale, it is harder to hit those RTs than on, like, say, Summit. Here we go, they are about to lose, Nan of didn't watch out, we have two fates now in the field. And if they can hold it off or take system, that's gonna be a game breaker. Yeah, now these guys that went into Nano are coming back to system because they know that that phase gate is such a key position on this map. I mean, from system waypointing, you can hit Nano, Cargo, and Subsector really quickly. And it can play by time as well, look at that, they, they pull all marines back, because if the marines split up, like let's say have one in nano stay there, just two go back, they can easily lose all of those marines if the fates stick together. It's really, really close, that's why the marines have to go as a group, at least two or three, otherwise they will just get picked apart, and then if the aliens can force them run back to defend the face gate, those rest will keep flowing in for them. Yeah, and we're seeing that, um... Uh, you know, that power in Nano is down to 3%, one swipe and it's down, they're just setting that up if the fight goes in there to cut the power. And now big fight happening in system waypointing. Gorge does go down in that. Akira is doing this really nicely, I love to watch this play, I mean, look at how they force Godard to run back to system all the time over and then Nano doesn't even get scratched, and with that, um, cracks in there it will take for a long time, and if needed later on, they can also every time hit the power node when they need. It just kept it down to three percent. I like this kind of move. Um, this is kind of standard move, and it can hit the lights the second you need it, just by just one hit on that. So they prepped for a bigger push, and also trying to dance around this face kit location. At the same time, just one skull Koro being such an annoying piece for the Marines, keep oh. killing all this. Oh, what fate! Oh! Oh! Tane does get killed in Nano as he's trying to get out of there. Skugan coming up behind that Marine pack, getting revenge off Tane. Oh yeah, that was pretty important. But with five harvesters up, they can replenish those fates fairly easily. And also, save for honors if they have to. I mean, Skagen is on 63 resources. He did not use his P-Rest, and that's a wise move on Vale. If things go bad, you lose double, the Marines go for this like 7 RT situation, then you will need that honors to break it at one point in time. Um, but right now, as it seems, Arkea is such in a good spot here. The Marines are down to max 3 RTs to keep getting harassed at those resources and cannot really push out of system. Yeah, it's like they're really, uh, they can't use this offensive gate as an offensive gate. <laughs> yeah. They keep getting pulled back into it. And here's another push. Ice Belt, Grissy, and Vok pushing right into Nano. They do clear the life forms in there, but it looks like they're just going to blink in and out. Oh, and Eagle Eye does go down, losing another fade. Oh, that, that is two fades down by going alone into a group of Marines. I mean, Tane died, now we saw Eagle Eye die, and both instances, they were alone. They didn't go with the crew, because the fades were now harassing those RTs on top of my skylights, and then you cannot go, you have to go together. Here we go, now they're grouping up two fades and a skull, still risky, but... To get the first kill really fast, which is super important, now Vork is dying and everything is going down to hell. Well, there goes that push and they're gonna move that train into system waypointing, running over Mendas. Oh. oh man, and this phase gate may go down, looks like it's going to, and it's gone! Godar loses that crucial, crucial foothold on this map.
Yeah, that was really important. I need to get that back. And even so, the longer this game goes, as it goes, with just three RTs versus those five, it's just a matter of time when those aliens will just keep throwing the money at a problem and getting in those really big life bombs. Because honestly, the time bomb is taking three marines now. Four marines actually assist them. If you can take down all those fates, it's just two left. They kill come many. back. But ah, uh... oh, they all Go so low. Rolled. Yeah, they call it. Ah, uh, and they knew it. They knew it. Godar calling good game. Archaea takes round four on this best of seven. Three one. You know, it could be just one more final game. Well, let's, let's see what map we're gonna play, and then I can tell you what will happen. There we go. So Archaea, yes, off. Official screen, Archaea in only 3 to 1 versus go to winning whale. And again, I feel that was not kind the move.